I'm here with Cameron Crandall from Kingston. Well, I, I say that three times fast. Who's going to explain to us what lanes are and why we need them for the latest generation of Kingston SSD products. Cameron, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Now, we, we know this because we've, we've seen this on several of our shows. Before you buy, on know-how, we know it's fast, we know it's wonderful, we know we want it, but what do I need to make this work properly in my desktop? So first you need a, an available PCI Express slot, okay. either um, the standard half height, half length, or uh, the M.2 form factor, which you were just holding here. Um, and the, the other key thing to get the full performance out of the drive is to uh, make sure that you've got a number of available PCI Express lanes available to you. The, uh, yes, this is important. Actually, when I was doing my review of the Predator, I wanted to put it into, a, I had a Predator desktop from Acer. I was going to put a Predator and a Predator. You know, like, but the problem I ran into was it had PCI Express two lane, and okay. I couldn't use that because I, I would not get the full performance, right? So you can use it, you just won't get the full performance of the drive, right? What could I get? What would So I know that this is 1400, 1000. 1400 read, 1000 write. What would I get if I plug that into a PCI Express 2? Half the performance. Really? Yeah. Ooh, okay, so this has always been a little mystical for me. How do the lanes work? Just, I know more lanes are better, but why are more lanes better? What does it actually, what happens on the inside? Uh, any system um, that you build, you, you only get a certain amount of PCI Express lanes available to you. Mm -hmm. So if you're consuming those lanes with uh, one, two, or even three video cards, you're consuming a lot of those lanes. So um, you just want to, you know, verify, you know, before you install the, 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 the Predator, if performance is important to you, that you are that you have at least four lanes available to you mm. to get the full performance out of the drive. Uh, why why is it that some desktops will have a lot of PCI Express slots and some won't? Is it is that just a cost saving feature? Is that just a feature set that they decide on, or do you actually have to go through a lot of work to make sure you have say three PCI Express 16 slots and two eight slots and th three, three four slots? What's the limit? It depends on the processor and the south bridge. Okay. Okay. So we get uh, PCI Express lanes from uh, from both the processor or the south bridge. And if you look at the technical specs on the system, uh, you'll see how many PCI Express lanes that are available on that particular system. The M2 format is still relatively new when mm -hmm. you compare it to say M SATA or you know, SATA. Yep. I'm starting to see it show up on more and more computers. I'm actually starting to see it in a couple of laptops, which has me very excited. Mm -hmm. But do I have to worry about, there's, is, is there going to be an M2 4 lane, an M2 8 lane, M2 16 lane? Is that going to be revved up or is M2, M2, and I don't have to care about what else there is? So um, certain motherboard manufacturers will configure the M.2 socket for either two lanes or four lanes. Ooh. So if you did have a system that had an M.2 socket but it only supported two lanes, you may want to go to the adapter, which would give you the full the full four lanes. Is it just PCI Express in a different form factor? It is. It, it is. is. Yeah. So so electrically, it's just it's, a it's smaller to, socket. Exactly. Oh, OK. I, I like that. Yeah. Now, last question. Now, let's say someone is looking at upgrading their system. They've got a PCI Express four slot. Uh, now they're also considering maybe just using a bunch of these in a RAID configuration. Mm -hmm. I've seen, in fact, at CES, was at three, four years ago, I think you yep. created this wonderful monster box. How many, how many SSDs did it have so in it? So that was 16 SSDs. 16 SSDs, and what was the performance? We were getting about 4,000 megabytes a second. Which, which is ridiculous, but it's, yeah. it's wonderful. So let's say they wanted to create one of those. Would you say to go with a bunch of SSDs, put them in a performance RAID, or are you still saying, no, you've got, you got to go with the Predator? You know, uh, Predator um, can still be made faster. So if you, mm -hmm. if you, if you raid Predator drives together, um, you know, that, that PCI Express bus just offers just so much more performance over a single SATA port. Um, you can still build a faster array with Predator drives than you could with, with SATA. The advantage you would have with SATA is you do have, you're not going to run out of PCI right. Express lanes, right? So right. if you have a multi-port, um, SATA controller or RAID controller, you can typically scale out more physical devices where you would run into some sort of a, a barrier with, with PCI Express as you ran out of lanes. Yeah. Where else can you go with this? How much faster can you make this particular technology? I mean, we know that we sort of hit the, the performance limit as far as the old SATA drives are concerned. These are still great, they're still fast. We're going to see these for years and years to come, but they're not going to give us another rev of SATA right. that, that we're stuck with the 550 limit. This seems so much faster, but 
am I just going to hit the wall again with this in a year or two years? So uh, the PCI Express interface is evolving, right? Mm -hmm. We're at uh, uh, PCI Express uh, Gen 3 now. Uh, Gen 4 is being worked on right now. So every time we go to a new generation, we double the, we double the bandwidth per lane. Um, so right now, Predator is a uh, Gen 2 by 4 configuration. Uh, we will be coming out with a, uh, a Gen 3 by 4 configuration, which will double the performance. So if we're getting 1,400 megabytes a second now out of the drive, we'll be getting nearly 3,000 megabytes per second out of a, out of a Gen 3 device. Um, so yeah, so as the PCI Express interface evolves, um, it's giving us a, a fatter pipe to work with for, for SSD performance. Cameron, thank you very much for talking to us, clearing up some of the mystique over PCI Express connected SSDs. I guess uh, maybe the takeaway could be more gen, more lanes, more better. Yep, exactly.